Okay, in this video, uh, I'll show you how to do colorful to black and white. Let's start with the basic first before I show you the hard ones. Go into a uh, polygon shelf in here. Click on this one. I'm going to draw a uh, polygon plane. Okay, so now make sure it's selected. Hold down Shift T to open the uh, new material panel. Click on Blend. Now scroll all the way up. Here's where the color is. I'm going to click on the checkerboard and find a picture. Go File. And then make sure you're in the File tab. Right here, File, and click the yellow folder. I'm going to pick a uh, Omega Supreme. Right there. So now if I press 6 on my keyboard, I should be able to see it. I'm going to click this icon here to hide the uh, grid. Okay, now I'm going to open Hypershade. And then I went to Custom. And to create any of these icons, custom shelf, to create any of these icons, I hold on Control Shift and go Window, Rendering, Editor, go Hypershade, click it once and let go. Okay, so once you let go, you see these icons. So these, I create them using the same method, Control Shift and we'll click, and then click on whichever menu. So here's my Hypershade. So I'm going to click this one the one I just assigned and click on input output connection so right now what I need to do is uh, okay let's say I move this one too much see how it goes beyond the screen you can click this icon right here it will come back down here press A it will zoom into all of it okay so I'm gonna move this one these two a little bit away what I need to do is uh, create some additional files notes click this icon and I'm going to type in blend and here's this one one and I also want luminance right here luminance so click this icon to hide it again and I don't need to see this top area top panel I can this is for double panel this is for the bottom panel this is for the top panel so I just want to see uh, the bottom one right there I'm gonna move this one over here this one over here okay the blend shape the blend color allows you to uh, change to do two different colors from black and white or whatever that so first thing I'm gonna do is disconnect this one select it and hit delete double click the blend color middle mouse drag this one file into the color one it doesn't matter if you go into color one or color two okay now middle mouse double click the RGB luminance middle mouse drag the file to the value so now it's connected right there so let me move it out again so now what I want to do is double click on the brand color and attach the, the RGB this one allow you to, to, to convert the uh, color image to black and white so I'm going to middle mouse this one to the color number 2 ok now it opens up it doesn't know what to do that's because um, this one is a single value whereas color is a triple value so you need to select this one and click each one of them okay so when you see uh, italicized that means connected close it so now last will be let me rearrange it so now last will be middle mouse this middle mouse drag this one over here and choose color so now it's connected. So I can make I can make sure you double click on this to open the brain color attribute. Minimize this. So oh by the way if you see this in back uh, quality, let's go open the hyper shade again. Double click the blend. Scroll all the way down until you see hardware texturing. Make sure you go from none to color. Okay now if you go color it's really blurry so you under texture resolution you pick uh, 256 so now it's clear okay so let me go back to right here blend colors or you can double click in this icon here so if I move the slider over you see it's black and white I can hit render render now it's rendered okay if I move it over to here it's colored so right there is colored 
So one half is color if I move it over here, render again, it's black and white. And that's how you can change um, any object or not just an image to um, black and white, okay, and vice versa. Okay, now um, for the file I created earlier, this one, the TV color, don't save. Okay, this one is a sequence of images. All I did was I, I animated some object. Let me show you how to do it. You can uh, take a AVI file and convert to a sequence of Im images. Maya will not accept AVI or QuickTime or XVid. It has to be a sequence of images. Okay, so you can use Virtual Dub to convert your AVI to a, a sequence of images. In Maya, if you want to render out a sequ sequence of images, I'll show you right now how. Let me uh, create new file, don't save. Okay, let's, let me try to uh, create a polygon plane again. I'm going to create a sphere. I'm going to hit W to move up. 5. Right now it has no color. You can select it. Shift T. Click on the blend. Scroll all the way up. I'm going to double click on this color swatch. Let's say pick red. Done. And make sure you press six on your keyboard so that you can see it. Okay, now I'm going to um, type right here, 120 frames. So let's say I animate this one. I select the object. Make sure I'm at frame zero or one. Hit Shift T, uh, Shift W. That will keyframe. Okay, if you press Control A. Or you click on this button right here. Right now you can see this button shows the actual uh, channel box shows its keyframe. Let's say I move it to 30 frames. I animate forward. Shift W. So now if I rewind, I see it. Move forward to say 60. Move over. Let's say I go up. I can hit Shift W or I can select these three. Right click, choose key selected. Okay, so right here I can see I have another keyframe. Let's say go 90 and hit W, I'll move forward, say down, shift W, and 120 frames. Say move it all the way closer to me. Like that and shift W. So if I rewind, that's what I have. Okay, remember if you want to go back all the way to the beginning of the keyframe, who we'll hold on uh, shift out shift V, it will go back to frames one, okay, or zero. Out shift V, and it goes back. And shift V is to if you hold on shift V, it should work. I'm sorry, out V is to play forward. Okay, right now it's going too fast because I have it play at a, uh, every frame. If I click on this little guy right here, look like a person running. Right now, under time slider, I have it play every frame. I should have 24 frames. Let's see, save. So now if I rewind, play, that's what it looks like. Okay, if you want to render uh, out as a sequence of images, what you need to, need to do is go into Render Global right here. Okay, first of all, make sure you save, uh, save your file, give it a name, okay, I already name it as Sphere Moving right here, okay, so you can save it, and then next thing you need to do is under Common, so my software, Common tab, okay, first thing I'm going to do is um, choose what file format, I pick Targa, next will be down here, Pull this one down, and I usually always pick a name, number, extension, dot extension. Okay. Next is frame pattern. Right here, I have 120 frames, so that means I have three digits. So I pick a frame pattern as three. Next is will be start frame from whichever one or zero, and I want the end frame to be 120 frames. And then this tell me which camera I want to render from perspective. What size? 640 by 480. Let's say I keep it that way, and hit close. And if you want the best quality, you click on right here. Production quality, okay. 
So, but right now, I don't care about the quality, so I'm going to pick a uh, custom. Yep, production quality is fine. And hit close. So, to render it, what I need to do is make sure I'm in the render mode right here, rendering. Go to render. Batch render. Check mark. The, uh, get the option box, check mark it, hit batch render. And down here will tell you the results, just wait for it. It looks like it's it's almost done. You right here I can see it's 104, 110, 115, 20. Okay, yes, it's done. To see the uh, batch render, you go to render. Show batch render. If you go file open image, that will only show one image. You want this one animation to show a sequence of images. Going to go down to. If you don't know where it went, you can always go to render global. And all the way up at the top under the common tab right here, it tells you where it's saved. Okay, I set the project already, so mine's called my project. It's in the images folder. So. Render, show batch render, file, open animation. I'm going to scroll down until I see sphere. Moving, sphere moving. Right here. I open it. So that's a sequence of images. Okay. Okay, I can stop it, close it. Now let's say if I want to, um, let's say I create an object. I'm going to move up 90 degree, negative 90. Hit W to move up. I can add more uh, subdivision. Select the polygon plane. Highlight these two. Middle mouse drag it. Okay, now let's say I want to assign an image to this one. I can go back to uh, custom hyper shade. I, I can also, from here I can hit shift T let's say I assign a blend I'll name it, double click on it, give it a name blend underscore TV enter and right here where the color, I click on the checkerboard go to file click on the yellow folder and my project folder is under desktop my project and then I s all my render images is going to be right here images and the one I want is called the sphere 01 so you need to select only the first one so open and then right down here below it you make sure you check mark uh, use image sequence okay so now if I let me uh, rotate this see right there is my let me rotate it this way. I can expand it a little bit. So there's my uh let's say you pretend this is a television screen and if I hit rewind and play, there it is. Okay. 